All right, the heat has dropped just a little bit, but EMSA crews are still working around the clock. They've already responded to multiple heat calls and expect more throughout the day. News on 6's Katira Winfrey is on the story. We caught up with IMSA today, and in the five to ten minutes it took us to gather footage, they checked the inside of this news truck, and it had reached 111 degrees. So we can never say enough. This heat should not be underestimated. The IMSA supervisor we spoke to says the early part of summer is when they'll get the biggest influx of heat-related calls. He says it's like that every year. Many times people go into the summer underestimating the heat. However, as the summer progresses, the number number of heat calls start to dwindle because people realize just how quickly they can overheat. And here's another piece of info. IMSA says many people are always walking around in a mild state of dehydration, so water is key. On weekends when people, they typically will work all week and then they want to go out and enjoy recreational activities or lawn work or something outside and they just simply don't realize how oppressive this heat really is and how dangerous it is. And yes, it is hot outside, but again, the inside of this car can get even hotter, so we can never stress it enough. Do not leave your children or your pets in the car, even for a little while. Reporting on the scene on the story in Tulsa, Katira Winfrey, News on 6.